Local first starts now. Good evening, I'm Meg Gatto. And I'm Lauren McCoy. An infamous city-owned eyesore secures long-awaited federal funding needed to jumpstart its redevelopment. Ashlyn Brothers joins us with what's next for the blighted Bywater Naval Base. Ashlyn? Well, Meg and Lauren, residents are feeling cautious optimism about the future of this blighted, crime-ridden, once squatter sanctuary site littered with graffiti. It wasn't always this way. People I know d describe it as Thunderdome. But the Bywater's abandoned naval base has been this way for a while. Drug use, you know, fires. I mean, it is just, it's been unmanageable. They did so much damage to the inside of the building, but at least now they, I think they have a clean sleep. Now, brighter days may be ahead, thanks to $20 million in federal funding awarded by the Louisiana Housing Corporation for the site's redevelopment. The disaster relief grant is meant to help improve affordable housing in the state following hurricanes Laura, Delta, and Ida. President of the Bywater Neighborhood Association, John Guayaneri, is eager to see the 25-acre complex that sat empty for more than a decade return to commerce. I think it's uh, a good start because without that funding they couldn't have gotten anything else off the ground. The city took control in 2016 and the developers like the late Joe Yeager came after to help revitalize the complex into mixed income housing. Guaneri says for the longest time the can just kept getting kicked down the road. That can is old and rusty and rotted. Developers of the project say they're hoping for an additional 138 and a half million in funding from these sources. It's going to be just a great boost of morale and just an economic boost for the entire city. New Orleans City Council member Freddie King says it'll take another six to eight months to reach the estimated $170 million needed to complete the renovations on the city-owned eyesore. I want to help any way that I can to, to secure the rest of the funds, getting community input and feedback, listen to the residents and make it something that the entire city can enjoy. We really want to have a walkable, sustainable neighborhood. Developers say in its first phase, the project includes converting the biggest building into 294 affordable apartments. The project also includes 38,000 square feet of retail space and more than 1,000 parking spaces. Uh, let's get started as soon as possible. A partner of the project, Brian Gibbs, tells me he's very interested in helping Jaeger realize his vision. Gibbs also says he hopes to make the city and state proud through the completion of the project, but he emphasized there's still a long way to go with many hurdles the city and developers must overcome.